hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and this video is all about my newly acquired python flask api development skills and this is my portfolio project so i'll walk you through the project so this is the github uh, repository uh, here you can find the project as well so the project is all about uh, authorization and creating bookmarks so basically you register a user uh, verify the credential of the user generate an access token and refresh token uh, if access token expires you can use refresh token to generate new access token and get the uh, logged in user as well and on the bookmark part you can create bookmark get all bookmark you know uh, get a shorten bookmark url uh, update bookmark and delete bookmark and obviously these all uh, functionality is protected by jwt so if you don't have access token you cannot get into these uh, bookmark routes so let me demonstrate you the application so i'll run the application oh sorry i need to first activate my virtual environment let me clear the screen now i'll run my file so let me walk you through the uh, project structure as well so this is run.py which is the entry point now i have a folder youtube demo in which i have all the code so this entry point goes to source so there is app.py here i have my uh, basic configuration of the python flask application uh, it uses jwt and i have three routes home authentication and bookmarks so i have created views for them or you can say blueprints so these blueprints are here so this is the home blueprint and uh, authentication blueprint so we have register route uh, verify route uh, get the current logged in user route and uh, uh, generate refresh token route all uh, out of this this uh, get the current user and uh, refresh uh, access token these two routes are uh, protected by jwt now on the bookmark side i have um, create a new bookmark protected by jwt uh, get all bookmarks get one bookmark update bookmark and delete bookmark all these routes are protected by jwt and on the database side I have used uh, MongoDB, so all the MongoDB uh, call for authentication is inside this file, and for bookmarks are in separate file for better, you know, uh, management of code. Uh, there are constants as well, so these constants are you know uh, HTTP status codes. also there is a test so i have just written two basic tests but we can write you know multiple tests here as well and if i run uh, let me first activate if i write py test it will you know run this test and make sure that api is working correctly so now let me demonstrate it on uh, my uh, insomnia collection so let's first register a user so let me also meanwhile show you the collection so this is a, a database a youtube python api i have two collection bookmarks and users so when i register a new user yeah we can see that effects here in the user a new user is created and i forgot to tell that i have also uh, encrypted the password of the user as well 
now if we try to uh, register a new user with the existing email it will say that user already exist now you go and you can verify the user as well so when i verify the user it will provide me access token and refresh token so i can get this access token and go to get user so this will uh, return me the current logged in user so you can see this is the email of the current logged in user and i can generate new access token by using the refresh token so let me get the refresh token first yeah so this is the refresh token and i can get new access token using the refresh token oh yeah since it says only non refresh tokens are allowed because uh, i have used maybe you know timeout of uh, uh, one hour yeah that's why otherwise you will get refresh uh, ac new access token otherwise uh, we would have got new access token on the bookmark side you can create a new bookmark so i need to provide my access token so i'll copy that and this is the body so when i hit send it will create a new bookmark and if i go here in the bookmark section we can see that this email has created new bookmark i can use this get all to get all bookmarks created by the access token owner get one so in order to get one uh, first let me yeah let me paste my access key here and this is the id so i can get one by this then you can get the sorted url with uh, so this is the sorted url id so i can copy that and i can ask for the sorted url as well so let me copy the access key a sorted url if i send will get the object as well we can update the document by document id but if i send this it will say token expired so let me fetch the current token and if i come here and if i use this hopefully nobody returned cause no content cause this doesn't exist but if i go here and if i copy this id and if i go to update provide the id and you can see remark will be edited so if i run this success and if i go to mongodb a refresh is you can see remarks are edited and the last one is delete so i can delete a bookmark oh, so this is the bookmark id and let me grab the access token so yeah and this is uh, there is no body and it will uh, delete this it will delete this document if i send it you will see success and i have implemented a soft delete so that it actually doesn't delete that but uh, it just uh, alter a flag is deleted so if we come here and if we say get all we'll see that a bookmark list is empty so this is how it, it it is working and if you want to get access to this code this code is available on my github and there are few environment variables uh, these are secret key uh, jwt secret key and uh, mongodb url so these are the few uh, variables that you need to create in your .env file i hope i have learned new skill and that will fetch me new work 
on freelancer platforms uh, thank you for watching peace